Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Ayaz Tech. Today I am going to show you how to track the previous route in Angular 17. This is a super useful technique for building advanced navigation features in your Angular applications. So let's dive right in. First, let's create a new Angular service that will keep track of our routes. We will call this previous route service. So open up your terminal in the root directory of your project and run this command ng generate service previous dash route press enter now let's open the generated service file and start coding so we will import a few necessary modules router navigation end and filter from rxjs so let's do that import router navigation end and now let's import the filter from rxjs operators now let's define other properties and implement our logic in it first i need to define previous url and i will give it the default value empty string and similarly for the current url now inside the constructor uh, now i need to inject the service router is equal to inject make sure to import the inject function from the angular slash core so call that function and give it the router service that we just imported above now in the constructor i will save the current url from the router service so for that i will use this dot current url is equal to this dot router dot url okay so now let's use this dot router dot events and so this events is basically an observable from rxjs so you can subscribe to it but before subscribing to it i will use the pipe operate uh, pipe function on it and then we will subscribe to it okay inside the pipe we will pass an operator filter that we imported above and within that filter function we will pass a callback function and that callback function will return a boolean value so for that i would be receiving the event from this parameter of the callback function and then i will check if event is the instance of navigation and then return true okay now in the subscribe function i need to pass the callback function so let's do that and in this callback function i will be receiving the event of type navigation end okay now i'm getting this typescript error that is saying that argument of type this is not assignable of parameter of type this so types of parameter event and value are in cap incompatible to fix that this is a trick that i used to do is that here i will define the return type so for that i will use event is navigation end so with that the error will be gone and we will have all of the suggestions in the event variable that we can use while typing so now i will use this dot previous url is equal to this dot current url so we are basically before updating the current url i am preserving the current url in the previous url so that we could update the current url property now i will update this dot current url with the latest url from event dot url okay now let's break down what we have done here we have created a service with two properties previous url and current url the constructor subscribes to the router events and updates these properties whenever the navigation ends. Now let's use this service in the component. We will use the app.component for this. We need to import our previous route service and use it in this component. To inject it, we will use the same inject function and use the define the property to save the service. Previous route service is equal to inject and pass it the previous route service class to it let's implement a lifecycle hook on in it and now i will define this method in my class and join in it and now let's get the previous url from the service so this dot previous route service dot previous url okay so i will save it in a variable const previous url is equal to this and now let's console it 
previous url okay so now let's open the angular project open the inspect element and see what we have here currently the previous url was empty because we in the we are on the root url there is nothing in the url yet but now we will add some routes and test different urls and see if it changes that or not so let's generate another component ng generate c test and ng generate c test to press enter so i basically generated two components and now in the app dot routes file i will define the routes with the path test and component would be test component and same for the test two and here let's add the test two component okay save it now we have to add the router outlet in our app dot component so that it could load the components or routes within this router outlet okay here i will add the links let me remove this flex styling and here i will add a router link and here i will specify the path test and we don't need uh, the router link active for now and let's add the text for this link test and now i will add another link test to we are getting this error the reason is that it is saying that cannot bind to router link since it is not a noun property of a the reason is that we did not import the router module so let's import it first router module now this would be available to use you can see that the error has gone okay so let's check okay you can see the links are visible now i will open the test component right now it is showing the old url the reason is that we have printed the url in ngun in it so that's mean this function would be executed only once when this app.component was initialized as this was already initialized so when you go to a different component this component will never be reinitialized okay so so to test this thing i would simply remove all of this logic from here and we will move it in the newly generated components let's go to the test and here i will paste all of that and let's implement the on init class on it let's import the missing files and let's import the inject function as well and now let's import this as well all right so now let's click on this test button and we can see a interesting situation here it is saying that previous url is slash test but the previous url was slash let me explain why it is happening the reason is that we injected this service uh, previous route service in the test component and test component was loaded when we clicked on this link so as soon as the test component was loaded this service was initialized at that time and at that time it saved the current url in this current url variable so that's why when this component was loaded it printed the previous url so this service saved the url in the current url that was slash test at that time and then when navigation ends we saved the current url that was slash test and that was saved in this variable so basically both of these variables have the slash test in it okay let's find out some better way to test it so for that in the app component we can inject this service we will not use it but we will inject it because as soon as this service will be injected that uh, the constructor of that service would be immediately uh, executed and it will execute all of its logic so at that time it will save the slash url in the current url so now let's do that at that stage the service has been injected and its constructor was executed okay now let's reload this page on the root of this url and at that time the app dot component was initialized and it has injected the previous route service and at that time the constructor of this service was executed and it has saved the current url and at that time the current url was slash so now if you open another route it will show you that previous url was slash now if you open another path it will tell you a different 
previous URL. But right now it is not showing because we did not include the same logic in different component yet. So let's do that. Let's import the missing dependencies or missing imports. Okay. Now let's start from the beginning. Right now it has a slash in the previous URL. Go to the test and this is the previous URL. Now go to the test too. And now it is saying that previous URL was slash test and current URL is slash test two. Okay. Let me add the home as well. And here I will add slash. Okay. Okay. This is home. This is test two and this is test. This is home. Okay. Now I will do something better to uh, see the logs properly instead of adding this logic in every component. I will just get rid of this and let's get rid of this as well. Okay. And now let's go to the previous route service and in the subscription after doing everything, I will simply log both of these URLs, previous URL and current URL. Okay. Now let's start from the scratch right now. The previous URL is slash current URL is also slash. If you go to the test, then it is saying that now previous URL was slash, but current URL is test. Now let's go to the test too. Now it is saying that previous URL was test and current URL is slash test two. Now let's go back to the home. And now it is saying that previous URL was slash test two and current URL is slash. Okay. So what if I want to display this information in the app dot component in the real time? So that is also possible. So to do that, let's go back to the app dot component dot TS and we will use this previous route service in the app dot component dot HTML. So here I will add the H1 tag and here I will add current URL is. So here we will use the interpolation and I will use a service dot current URL. And now let's add another heading previous URL. Save it. Okay. It will now show you real time changes because this service is public currently and service is always singleton. Whenever this variable is changed, it would be printed in the real time. So let me show you go to this. You can see that current URL has slash test and previous is slash and same for this and for home. So you will notice it will be updating in the real time every time. By the way, you can also create your custom observable that uh, uh, will emit a signal whenever the previous and current URLs are updated. So you will not have to go through all of uh, this logic every time in any of the components where you want to check. So for that, you can create a subject like uh, URL changed and the type is subject and the type would be object. So we will be sending this data in this signal in this subject when we will emit the subject. So one property is previous URL and other property is the current URL and we have saved the instance of the subject into it. So now instead of doing this, I can use this dot URL changed dot next function. And within that next function, we have to pass the payload that we have defined here. So this we must have to pass this object. Otherwise we will keep getting this error. Okay. Now the error has gone. We have passed the information. Now let's go back to the app dot component and here let's create a constructor and here I will use this dot previous route service dot URL changed dot subscribe and we have the URLs from the parameter. We are just displaying it in the console. Now let's save it and reload it and go to the inspect. And let me actually add another important log that will be telling us that from app component.ts. Okay. Let me add some separators here that will make it prominent in the console. Okay. So go to a different URL. You can see that we are getting these logs, which are very beneficial now. So this approach is way more simpler than this because Otherwise, you would have to implement this logic every time in every component wherever you want to access these changes. But you can 
so basically we have created a simpler wrapper around this logic and we are now using a simpler version of this and now you can use this url changed subject in any of your components and subscribe to it and you will be able to access the updated information in the real time and in this function you can write your own logic as well because this approach by accessing the variables directly in the html component that will just give you the information but you cannot do anything in your components if something has changed in those urls but in this approach you have the opportunity to execute the functions when uh, any of these urls are changed also there is another catch in this right now you made these public okay the disadvantage of making them public is that anybody can make changes uh, to these variables and that is not recommended because these urls are being updated based on the real data from the url but but if someone accidentally update these urls your application may work unexpectedly so for that you can use the private keyword here private and add underscore here that is just a convention to use the underscore so let's add the underscore everywhere here as well so now uh, your html will not be able to access it your app.component will start throwing typescript errors and it will saying that property current url doesn't exist on this type because we have made them private so to fix that in go to the service and here we will implement the functions get previous url and then get current url okay so we are not giving the direct access to these private variables but we are using a uh, uh, Fun intermediate function that will access this private property and return the response so so this is the safer approach in this way you are not giving the direct access to this sensitive information okay now let's go back to the app.component.html and here i will use instead of using this i will use get current url and get previous url okay and now let's change it it is still working so this simple yet powerful technique can be used in various scenarios such as breadcrumb navigation, conditional redirects and more. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Angular tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and get notified whenever we post a new video. Also, if you are interested in the written versions of these tutorials, so I am working on my IAS tech blog as well in parallel so I am continuously posting the written version of these articles so you can uh, so feel free to visit this website to read the written versions of these tutorials and follow along thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video